What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about MSI Afterburner and overclocking your GPU. So regardless of what brand or what company your GPU is, this uh, software, you should be able to use it to overclock. Unlike other um, software, like I have the uh, PX1, which is specific to EVGA cards and that brand. This one here, however, MSI Afterburner is very famous. It's, it's been popular and, and it's been out for some time and people use that to overclock their GPUs. And of course, when you launch the application, it looks like this. And if you're not sure how to set this up, you can click the card on the screen right now. And that video is gonna kind of walk you step by step as to how to set this up. So uh, speaking of the software here, the values that we're gonna mess around with today are gonna be the core clock and the memory clock. Um, core clock, what you can do is try increments of 25. So 25, 50, 75, 100, etc. And for memory clock, you can try increments of 100. So from 100, 200, 300, all the way to whatever maxes out. Whatever performance you find is stable, of course, and you know, you're not getting any um, game crashes, that would be the sweet spot for your card. In my case, however, so I am able to go, my core clock, I was able to push to 125. And with the mouse, it's not uh, exact. So what I usually do is I use the arrow keys once I kind of get around what I want to do. So core clock, plus 125 and my memory clock frequency I was actually able to put that all the way up to a thousand which was which was pretty cool for my card so having the memory clock set to 1000 and the core clock to plus 125 these values were the best for my settings and once you have set that you can hit the check mark and then you can go ahead and launch any game and then test that in game so the idea of Overclocking your GPU, of course, is for performance, but it's more for stability. In terms of FPS count, it will be marginal differences. So two, four, six, maybe even eight, if you're lucky, 10 frames that you'll increase. Um, but the gameplay will be more stable. So you'll get those uh, uh, higher frames at a more stable pace. And this is the idea of overclocking the GPU. And in game, since the beginning, I got the card uh, all at original stock settings. Uh, I've increased my frequency by almost 200, so my stable frequency is between 2100 and 2115 megahertz in-game without a problem. Also, keep in mind when you are overclocking your GPU, uh, you can start off with uh, lower values in terms of overclock, and as you progress and as you notice that your values are stable in-game, then you can push the card a little bit further to see exactly what works best for you. Because of course, no two systems are identical. I mean, unless you built two exact same computers, but even then you'll notice in terms of uh, the frequencies, the CPUs, the GPUs, the temperatures, the cooling, the motherboard, the RAM frequencies, all that plays in part in your ability to how much you can push your uh, GPU with stable gameplay and FPS. And that's it, that's all for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it or found this helpful. And uh, as always, stay safe, uh, stay well, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll catch you in the next one. Tech out.